Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I will be discussing my pitches for book ideas for the Rune Lords series. I have been kicking around this video idea ever since I started the channel. It is a concept that I've been really interested in, and there have been times where I've really gone in depth on it uh, in my preparation for the video. There have been times where I have kind of waffled and said, ah, oh, maybe I'll just make it a really short video. I've, I've been thinking about how I would do it, and also I was thinking about what if I did it, how would I make the video visually interesting? And so I also had a lot of other ideas for videos that were uh, that I wanted to put out sooner, and so I've been working on those videos more consistently. And so as a result, this video kept getting pushed down and down the line. And then uh, very recently, we had the very sad passing of David Farland, uh, also known as Dave Wolverton. He uh, died, uh, I believe he was 65, and I felt that it just wouldn't be uh, right for me to, right out of the gate, have a Rune Lord's book pitches so soon after his death. So I shelved the idea and have not uh, addressed it since. But one of my favorite series is the Rune Lords. It's the series that I feel the most strongly needs to be talked about on, on uh, book two. But I think it's the series that is the most single under largest underrated series, and as a result, I have really been trying to make videos about it and discussions and bring more people to reading the Rune Lords because of how awesome a series I think it is. But uh, this is a very delicate situation now, and so I want to uh, state that uh, I understand if we never get another Rune Lords novel ever. I understand if the uh, David Farland's estate decides that they do want to continue publishing more novels. I'm just pitching ideas that I have that I think would work well as books or or, or a single book in the in the in the Rune Lords uh, saga and universe. And I think there are ways that. If Mr. Farland was still with us, he would have done a fantastic job on them, but I also think that there are some potential other authors who would do well in this universe. And so uh, the first uh, the first pitch I have, I have three pitches. Uh, the first pitch that I have is for an Aradin Garaborn uh, backstory trilogy. And the way that I would pitch this trilogy is you have... Essentially, how the Rune Lords really focuses on Gaborn Valorden and his family and his his time as the Earth King. This trilogy would focus on uh, uh, Eredin Garborn. You don't have to spend quite as much time uh, setting things up. I don't think that you need to have a four book arc or anything. I think that you could do this as a solid trilogy. And in the first book, you introduce Eredin as the as the Earth King. I think in the second book, you. Uh, take him to his lowest point, and then in the third book, he would finish up his time, and so you do a single, solid, decent-sized trilogy, and I think that uh, would be appealing to fans, and I think it would work well in-universe. Uh, I think that this would work well in a similar way that uh, the Shannara book series uh, has told many trilogies and tetralogies and duologies where the same type of story, same group of characters are uh, happening, but they are happening in different ways. You know, as you see similar families in the Shannara series, uh, you see the similar families uh, 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 making the same mistakes. You see similar people in the same position. You see the Omsfords all have to uh, have this incredible power that they have to steward. And I think that uh, that you could do the same thing by telling several Earth King stories. And of course, you could do other Earth King stories from before. You could use the world building that in, in the, the Rune Lords, uh, the first book, you have the, the world as it is, and then you you, there's some discussion of what it was like in Arid and Garibor's time. Well, then, in this book trilogy for Arid and Garibor, you could tell about what who the previous uh, Earth King was, and you could set that backstory. And so that is another way uh, that, that this trilogy would really work. Uh, I think that this would make the series seem bigger. It would give it a larger, grander scope, but it wouldn't take away the heart of the story that is telling about the Earth King and his struggles. And so 
Uh, that's uh, the first p- pitch I have as a trilogy. It, this could be a standalone novel, but I think a trilogy would serve it uh, the best. Um, uh, and I'd really like to see that happen. The second book that I have here is uh, what I'm calling Meanwhile Back at the Ranch. So throughout the Rune Lords saga, with the first book, the Rune Lords, you have the second book, uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf, you have uh, Wizardborn, and then you have Lair of Bones. In this arc, all four of these books, you're following what's happening in Harridan and in Mystaria and in the and in Crowthen and Fleets. You're seeing the the main events. You're seeing the big stuff happen. And in some of the middle books, particularly in uh, Brotherhood of the Wolf and Wizardborn, you get to see a lot of minor characters and some of their perspectives. And it really makes the book series feel he- bigger, lived in, and it makes it more interesting than just the main cast. You're not just watching the A team. You're seeing everyone else involved as well. And uh, Farland kind of pulls back from that in the final couple books in, in, in uh, Lair of Bones, and he kind of commits to just the main uh, story, the main characters, and that's fine. It, then the book needed to wrap up. But I think that this, there's a good potential to basically tell a story of some group of people, maybe, or even groups of people, who are living through all four of the books. You see that from the beginning of the book is about set at the same time as the book one, and the end of the book is uh, when uh, Rajatan and the... Uh, uh, the why am I blanking on them? The Reavers are destroyed. Uh, you have the, the, those two ends uh, of the story, and I think that uh, you you get to see the major events happen from these minor characters' perspectives. I think it would all the battles, all the major coronations, all the major Earth King related things, all the stuff I don't want to get into spoilers. All the major events of the of the four books would happen. And you get to see it from these minor characters' perspectives. It would be a simple standalone book. It doesn't have to be too long. But I think this would be a wonderful story to, to tell. I think that you could bring in another author uh, that would that could do a great job with it as well. And so uh, that is my second pitch. It is not, I don't think, as strong as my first pitch that I made for the Aerid and Garborn trilogy. But I still think it's pretty solid. My third and final pitch is for a Raj Otten standalone. Now, uh, there are certain things about the Rune Lords that make it special. It has the best magic system of any fantasy series I've ever read, and I, l- I just love reading about the magic system. And the other thing that makes this series special is the villain of the first two books, Raj Otten. He's throughout the first four, but he's really the villain of the first two books. And he is such a compelling villain. He is so menacing. He's so terrifying. And he's not just terrifying in-universe. He's terrifying to the reader as well. And I really liked reading uh, his story. I really liked reading about how messed up he was, about how he took all the endowments that he did and how it rapidly uh, made his life so he had to get everything done on a, a time frame. I really thought that uh, he, uh, the way that he uh, he dealt with uh, his aging was interesting. I'm trying to dance around spoilers. And also, uh, his uh, his rule, the way that he ruled his people was very fascinating, and it was not really fleshed out in uh, the books. You really only see his military as he's attacking Herod and, and Mystaria. You don't see him back on the home front. And I'd like to get a book about his backstory, how he was a kid, maybe he went through something traumatic that made him feel the necessity for power. I would be really interested in in more of his backstory, and I think a standalone novel would just do a great job of that. And so, uh, and and it would make him a more even powerful villain, I think. And so those are my pitches for three Rune Lords books or series that could be written. Uh, if I could have had my wish, I would have had Mr. Farland write them himself, uh, but uh, it's, it looks like that that he we were not going to get any more books from him. He was working on his uh, the the first draft of his last book, A Tale of Tales. I'm not sure if it'll ever come out. I will say that even though it won't get the polished 
uh, editing that a normal book would get, I would still like to read it just so that I could see how the story ended. But I understand that it's a very tricky place when the author dies, what to do with the, the media. I, I believe his son, Spencer, is, is involved with all this. So I'd be, I'd be interested to see uh, how everything handles from, from now on with the estate. So if you're a Rune Lords fan, let me know what you think of my pitches. Do you have a book or book series that you'd like to see happen in the Rune Lords? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.